Good morning children. Today we are going to learn English grammar the sentence. Sentences are made up of words. So a sentence is a group of words that makes complete sense. It always begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. A sentence always has a verb in it. Then only it gives complete meaning. So children we have already learned to begin the sentence with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. Let's see the exercise. Rearrange the jumbled words to form proper sentences. Remember to begin each sentence with a capital letter and end it with a full stop. So children none of these word groups has any meaning. Why? Because their words are not in proper order. So they stand jumbled. So we have to put them in their proper order. So let's see the first sentence. Good this is storybook A. And the correct order is this is a good storybook. So we begin the sentence with capital T and end the sentence with a full stop. Next sentence is toys train it A. So the answer is it is a toy train. So we begin the sentence with capital I and ends the sentence with full stop. Next one, doctor is aunt my A. And the correct order is, my aunt is a doctor. And we begin the sentence with capital M and ends with a full stop. Fourth one, cheetahs and are runners fast deer. So the correct form is, cheetahs and deer are fast runners. We begin the sentence with capital C and ends the sentence with full stop. Fifth one, not am well I. I am not well. We begin the sentence with capital I and ends with a full stop. Last one, her friends are her with always. And the correct order is her friends are always with her. Now each word group makes sense and gives complete meaning. Next we are going to learn different types of sentences. For example, the lion is a wild animal. We sleep at night. So these sentences tell us something. The sentences that state something are called statements. They end with a full stop. So the first kind is statement. It ends with a full stop. It tells us about something. Next one is questions. For example, is the lion a wild animal? When do you sleep? So these sentences ask us something. So the sentences that ask something are called questions. They end with a question mark. So children, read the sentences carefully and use the punctuation marks at the end of the sentence. If it is a statement, we use full stop and if it is a question, we use question mark. Let's see the exercise given in your book. Tick the correct option. These are my notebooks. So this sentence is a statement. So we use full stop. Deer are gentle animals. Again, it's a statement. So we use full stop. Where are you going? It's a question. And this sentence asks you something. So it's a question mark. We are swimming in the pool. It's a statement. So we put full stop. Is mother baking cookies for us? So it's a question. So we use question mark. I love my pet dog. It's a statement. So we use full stop. Do you want to go to the pool? It's a question. So the answer is question mark. Where is my new pair of shoes? Again it's a question. So we use question mark. Is this your cat? It's also a question. So we use question mark. I can help you with your homework. So it's a statement. And the answer is full stop. And next type of sentences exclamatory sentences sentences that show sudden emotions are called exclamatory sentences they end with an exclamation mark look at these examples what a pleasant smell what a pretty photo this is so these sentences tell us about powerful feelings so let's have a look on these sentences and see which punctuation marks we use at the end of the sentence what an awful taste this has. It's an exclamatory sentence. So we use exclamation mark.
are burgers healthy so it's a question so we use question mark we are going to the mall it is a statement for statement we use full stop what a rude kid he is is an exclamatory sentence so we put exclamation mark are you open on sundays it's a question so we use question mark so hope you have understood what is sentence and the different types of sentences a sentence is a group of words that makes complete sense it always begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop and in this chapter we learn three types of sentences they are statements questions and exclamatory sentences statements ends with a full stop questions ends with a question mark and exclamatory sentence ends with a exclamation mark so all of you read this chapter carefully and complete your work that's all for today thank you